In the beginning, before the dawn of time and the shaping of the cosmos, there existed only a vast, formless void. This void, known as chaos, was a place of infinite potential and boundless possibility, where the seeds of all creation lay dormant, awaiting the spark of existence. From this primordial emptiness, the first entities began to emerge, not as beings of flesh and blood, but as incarnations of fundamental aspects of the universe. The first to emerge from chaos was Gaia, the Earth. She was the solid ground, the nurturing mother who would become the foundation upon which the tapestry of life and the divine hierarchy would be built. Gaia's appearance brought definition to the cosmos, creating a distinction between the earth below and the sky above. Her presence introduced the concept of space, of here and there, and with her, the first semblance of order was brought to the chaos. As Gaia took form, other primordial entities followed. Tartarus, the deep abyss, emerged as the counterpart to the bright sky, a dark, unfathomable pit located far beneath the earth. Tartarus was a place of punishment and imprisonment, a realm so vast and deep that it was said to be as far from the earth as the earth is from the sky. This place of darkness and torment would later become the prison for the defeated Titans, serving as a stark reminder of the consequences of defying the cosmic order. Alongside Gaia and Tartarus, Eros, the embodiment of love and attraction, came into being. Eros was the force that would bind the universe together, driving the first entities to seek each other out, to mix and merge and create new forms of existence. His power was essential to the unfolding of the cosmos, for without love and desire, there would be no motivation for creation, no drive to bring forth life from the void. From the primal void of chaos, Erebus, or darkness, and Nyx, or night, emerged, embodying the universe's initial shadows. Together, they personified the deepest night and underworld's darkness. Their union birthed ether, light, and Hemera, day, celestial beings who brought the first light and daybreak, illuminating the darkness their parents ruled. Surrounded by primordial forces, Gaia continued her own creation, giving birth to Pontus, the sea, and Aurea, the mountains. Through these acts, she underscored her significance as the origin of the natural world and its diverse elements. Pontus embodied the boundless and untamed essence of the ocean, while the Aurea stood for the mountains, each linked to a specific peak in Greece. This connection showcased the ancient Greeks' deep respect for their natural surroundings and its spiritual importance. Gaia also brought forth Uranus, the sky, to cover herself, creating a mating counterpart for herself. Uranus represented the heavens, and together he and Gaia symbolized the union of heaven and earth, reflecting the close relationship between the sky and the earth in mythology. Together they bore the Titans, a race of powerful deities who would eventually inherit the earth and sky.